Hello everyone. Myself, I am Uma, and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I am a Microsoft certified data analyst and a corporate trainer, and currently working at Microsoft. Hi everyone. Welcome to KSA Data Vision YouTube channel. So in today's video, there is an interview scenario asking between the difference between the calculate and calculate table DAX function. Okay, this is the scenario given and this difference we need to show them by solving these two use cases. Okay, they have also given two use cases that is the number one asking for total employees who belongs to logistics. The second one is written a separate table with employees who belongs to logistics. So what exactly is this logistics? What is this employees? Okay, let's go with the data first and try to analyze what information we are having in this table. Okay, so let me clear all this. This is the complete employee data. This is the complete employee table data. All this you have employee information, some National ID, contact ID, some information you are having about that employee, their names and some birth date, their uh, marital status, gender, hire date and salary and department. Okay. So if you see here in the department, you are seeing something called logistics. Okay. You are seeing something called logistics. Finance, human resource, logistics, production and sales. So, they are asking the employee details who belongs to this logistics department. Okay. This is how you have to go through the data and then understand what kind of data is required. What exactly we need to perform. Now, we got to know that we have all this employee details table where we have each employee is identified by this unique uh, primary key ID, employee ID and in department we are having this logistics. Now, come back to this question. Now, let's implement this. Number one is total employees who belongs to logistics department. Okay, total employees means we actually need the count of employees, right? So, let's create a DAX function for that. So, let's go and cre uh, create new measure. So, this measure is for Total employees belongs to logist total employees from logistics department, right? So I can write something like calculate, calculate function. What I want to calculate, what is the expression I need to provide? I want the total employees, means I can take the count of employee IDs right count I am taking count of employee IDs okay after counting which one I need to take whether all the employees or the employees belongs to logistics obviously the employees who belongs to logistics so I'll apply an up uh, filter on the department why this logistics belongs to department right so Department equal to, I am applying the filter as logistics. Okay. Now I have created this measure. Total employees who belongs to logistics department. So I am taking calculate function for filtering. Whenever there is a filter, you can use this function. Okay. Along with an expression. So what is that expression here? I want the total employee. So, I am taking the count of employee ID. Each employee will have this unique uh, ID, right? Employee ID. So, that account I am taking and I am filtering with the department logistics. Now, let's see the count here. You can take your measure and then add the value. So, you are seeing total 8 employees from this logistics department. If you want, you can cross verify. You can cross verify. Test this value. Go to the data tab and here the total records you are seeing here, right? 50 records. It means you have 50 employees overall. From this, you only wanted to 
select all departments are selected but i don't want all departments rather i want to see only logistics department you can click on ok you can see 8 here at the bottom you can see out of 50 rows 8 filtered rows means the employees who belongs to logistics department are 8 employees so that is what we have got the result so we have got that coming to the next question written a separate table with employees who belongs to logistics okay here we have given the count but in the second scenario they are asking to return one separate table with those employees information who belongs to logistics department now my requirement is i need to create one separate table right so i cannot use new measure what should i use i have to use new table so in this table this is logistics employees okay now here i am using the table level function called calculate table okay new table i have taken and i am using that calculate table function so it's clearly giving me right what this function will do evaluates the table expression in a context modified by filters so syntax also it is only giving me so what are the parameters i need to pass table i need to pass and the filters i need to provide so what is my table from where i can filter the logistics uh, department employees from the employee table only right so my table i will pass as an employee data and from here what is the filter i need to apply is on department so i am taking this as an employee data department and in this department i am trying to filter it with logistics okay here i am trying to filter with the department so i am closing this function just a table name i have provided and the filter context i have provided on the department logistics i have provided and click on enter now if you see immediately one new table got created what is the table name logistics employees so here the table is created now let's see what is there in this table go to the data model and if you see this table here in this table you can see all the columns which were there in this employee data but the rows are limited you can only see eight rows here right you can see only eight rows and no other departments other than logistics okay so this is how what happened here it has created a new table called logistics employees in which it has only provided the all the employee information all the records of the employees who belongs to logistics department so this is the difference between calculate and calculate table with example thank you thank you for watching this and please do like share and subscribe to our ksr data vision youtube channel and this file also will be shared with you you can go through this uh, measures through this tax functions and you can also play with this data Thank you all. And if you need any topic which needs to be explained, if you are looking for any such videos, uh, please do comment in the comment box so that I will come back uh, with the next video on the same topic which you are asking for. Thank you all.